Hi, this is the story of how these two guys helped me make this photo. Pretty much blind <laughs> faith. Blind faith? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. He, he never met me before, so he had no idea what he was getting into. Right? <laughs> Go meet this guy <laughs> in a dirt road. Just send him a text at 6 a.m. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Hey, I would never set you up for uh, any kind of unsavory experience. <laughs> Jacob, I do, I do have to say you are looking much better than the last time I saw you. Oh, you have no idea. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've never experienced that in my life. That was, that was beyond any sort of motion sickness. I'm excited to, to dig into that a bit more. <laughs> Every gory detail. Yeah, I'll just start by talking, I guess, just to kind of set things up uh, where the idea for the photo came from. Uh, it all came from uh, Patty Wagstaff, you know, aerobatic pilot, very famous uh, aerobatic pilot, well-known uh, around the world. I went to her school, her flight school back in, I think, 2017 or so, and I saw this picture of her extra uh, on the wall, and it was this this white extra, I think it was an extra 260. It was in this vertical orientation like with a photo taken right next to the plane. I don't think I've ever seen a photo like that. And they're, and they're high up and they're above a cloud layer. And I just found it very striking. And I asked her about that. Like, I've, I've seen this photo in the past. Like, I've seen this like, when I was younger in magazines. Like, can you tell me about this photo? And she said, oh, yeah. Like, we were just doing uh, kind of formation loops. And, you know, back then it was all film cameras. So, the, the, the timing of that photo is just amazing because they're just doing loops. So I always thought that uh, she would have been flying straight up vertical, but uh, that yeah. wasn't the case. So which made me kind of think, hmm, uh, is that reproducible? And who can I con into helping me make this photo? It's just one con. of those things. Well, coerce. I, I, think, I think you had to ask not, not even nicely. And I think the answer was yes, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's exactly sure it. That I, it. Yeah, I it looked was a pretty into short my, con. It was short, yeah, and I appreciate that about you guys. Uh, I looked into my my chat history, and I think it was just like a single question, like, "Would you be interested?" And you're like, both of you are like, "Yeah, of course!" Like, no hesitation. So, thanks for that. Your your <laughs> bravery with you know doing this weird thing, getting up at four in the morning. Jacob was probably up at three in the morning or something that that day. Yeah. And, well, uh, it's funny so I, because when, when you sent me that photo originally, like in my mind, the photo wasn't these these side by side loops. It was me, or me and the the plane I'm in flying straight and level, and you just shooting up vertically and be like, oh, easy, click. Oh, <laughs> that's all of a what you like, thought. Oh, we're doing loops. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> so when you said yes, that's what you thought. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that's what I imagined. I, I imagined <laughs> all our our flights where we shot stuff like this, and I was like, okay, that's that's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, and I should uh, grab this here. I got this drum mounted, so that was oh, awesome. the, end, the end product. But uh, that's hilarious. I didn't even know that uh, you thought it would be. Just yeah, that's a, that, that's totally what I had in my mind. It was just, yeah, you were just gonna keep shooting by vertically, and we'd be like, click, click. So when did it dawn on you that it was a little bit more than that? <laughs> Pretty much after I'd met Mike and and got to know him over the span of about five minutes, we we or basically I met him on a dirt road and then we kind of went up another dirt road and he's like, "Here's my plane," and we jumped in. He's like, "Oh, and I got this seat back so you know where we're going," kind of thing. <laughs> and we jumped in the plane and he took off and immediately did a loop and it was just like, "Okay, here we go." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this I, I didn't know that. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't communicate better what you were getting yourself. Maybe it's maybe it's actually good. better that way because maybe you would have said no. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't think I realized the constraints that I would be under in terms of the shoulder right. harness and having right. to try to turn my body with six pounds of camera and try to get my head to the viewfinder. So we're we're going through. You know, we did a couple initial loops, and I'm trying to lean my head in, and then we were pretty much pulling what four and a half keys probably. Per yeah. loop, yeah, give or about take, that, three, maybe a little bit less than that, Mike. I, I, I'd guess three and a half or four, but 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 not only that, Jacob. I mean, you have what about? I don't know if you can see my hands here, but 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 about that much distance from from the uh, plexi to plexi on each side. Basically, <laughs> I, my lens was pretty much bouncing off the side of the canopy. Yeah. yeah. 
again, ma <laughs> again, maybe it's better that we didn't tell you any of this. <laughs> Because <laughs> I mean, you're a professional. We expect you to adapt to any sort of situation. <laughs> basically, basically. The uh, the idea for the the photo here was uh, I wanted a sunrise shot that I thought would be cool with with the city of Winnipeg right in the background. So we we never practiced any of this, uh, and there was no rehearsing. We just talked it through. We. Um, and even the day of, we didn't even meet each other on the ground beforehand because no. we're, we're taking off from two separate locations. In the dark. Yeah, exactly. I just checked uh, just checked on the internet. I think sunrise that day was 5.23 in the morning. I'm pretty sure I was airborne exactly on the dot there and, and you were airborne maybe just a little bit before. And then we coordinated mm -hmm. in, the, in the air and we, we joined up on, on the way to Winnipeg. You know, in terms of directionality of where the light was coming from, um, we just kind of just kind of guessed where we were going to set up everything. Isn't that kind of how it went, Mike? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, you were flying along here. Like, hey, let's let's keep well, basically going going along the east east perimeter, just 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 east of the east perimeter, and 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 just uh, yeah, let's uh, see see what it looks like, and just keep doing loops all the all, all the way along. <laughs> Yeah, so so we got in position just uh, on the southeastern side of Winnipeg, along the perimeter highway, just outside the control zone, and then we just got right into it. <laughs> and uh, we're like, "Jacob, you ready?" And you're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. "I guess so." <laughs> so then we proceeded to do the uh, to the order of what a dozen loops. I Is have no idea. It, we just we did lots. We did lots. I, I, I could have I, even. I think yeah, I think going back through the pictures, I figured out that we ended up, I think, doing about nine or ten because we were kind of okay. doing three, three per north south kind of run. So we do mm -hmm. three reposition, shoot back the other direction. So I think we ended okay. up doing nine. Okay, and the the, the sad thing is the, the photo that was used, the best one that we got was the literally the second or third frame of the first loop <laughs> of the first loop the first loop but the thing is i mean we're up there the, the light is just right you know like it's 5 30 in the morning pretty much we've planned this thing we're, we're gonna just keep going until either jacob says no more or his head explodes or or who knows but so yeah then we just did loop after loop after loop trying to get the positioning just right the timing just right for the airplane to appear exactly vertical and after all that, we got it on the first the first loop. So I, I think one of the weirdest things, the the technical side, like on the on the photo side of things, was one thing I didn't take into account is normally we shoot with image stabilized lenses. So my seventy to two hundred that I was shooting with, I left the IS on. And one thing I really didn't take into account was with the additional G forces, the gyro was trying to stabilize the lens were just <laughs> completely freaking out. So, I mean, in terms of delivery, delivery, like with shoots I do with you, Luke, like normally we, you know, I fire off 200 shots to you for this mm -hmm. one, just based on the gyro trying to fight the airplane, there was so much vibration in so many of the photos that, you know, for every 12 I take, one would suddenly snap into focus. And then every other shot was basically just crazy vibration. It was on a technical side of things, really interesting to learn that because for any other shoots we ever attempted, or will attempt with with any sort of G force to be like, okay, that has to be completely shut off, or you're risking losing so many shots that could so, have been perfect, right? So that's not in the in the Nikon manual. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's in any manual. <laughs> um, at least the camera systems are fairly intelligent in terms of tracking motion. So I I threw it. Nikon has this great 3D mode where it kind of tracks any motion inside the frame. So, right. you know, upside down with just a blank sky, there's nothing but your airplane there. So it's going to hopefully try to pick that out of the sky. And it was literally just, yeah, turn. Once we once we entered the loop and got past pretty much, you know, thir three quarters of the way to vertical, it was just hold the, the autofocus button, hold the shutter, shutter button down and shoot 12 frames a second and hope we got one in there somewhere. Amazing. So Mike, what was the most challenging aspect for you? Well, oops, there, there, there go my, my props. Actually, actually, what I was thinking is uh, maybe I should just talk a little bit about the camera ship for, 
for this mission yeah, because absolutely. So, so I'm flying a Vans RV4, and of course uh, Jacob's in the back seat. And um, for anyone watching that knows anything about the the uh, RV4 for aerobatics, it's 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 really a, a single place aerobatic airplane, especially for anything aggressive. Now this wasn't aggressive by extra standards, but so uh, having you in the back seat, I know that I've got to be very gentle with the airplane, and and. And yet Luke's got to try and try and follow me through on me being being gentle and I was trying to get it into the vertical and yeah, and then from my point of view, it was just how can I be getting the best stuff for Jacob? Like well, how can I get into the best position? How can I stay there? Uh I think in the end, like the photo that that was the, the best one, I was probably I yeah, I think you'd probably be about 30, 40, 40 feet away. Yeah. So I'm just I'm just trying to do my best to stay glued to to your side of your wing there, and I just see like a man in the back with a with a lens pointed right at me, and I'm just praying that we're going to get the shot. And around and around we go for yeah, like like you said, nine or ten loops, and and then I, I what did I ask? I said, is Jacob happy? <laughs> I, I think it was more like we got Luke, we're gonna have to fly straight level for a bit. We've got a little technical issue in the back seat. <laughs> technical issue. Jake, if you want to like kind of run us through like your state of mind at this point. My, my state of mind, okay. Yeah. Loop loop one coming off the ground is like, okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. And uh <laughs> I haven't done a lot of acro. I mean, I did spins in my PPL training. I've done spins afterwards as a Tabria. You know, I've done it. Haven't done a ton of loops. I went flying with Luke in the pits when after a shoot uh, a couple of years back, and mm -hmm. I think same situation where I had to get up at three a.m. to get to the airport for sunrise. So it, with these ones, I'm just completely exhausted and full on zombie mode. And then Luke's like, "Let's go pull some G's. and yeah, that pits flight. I'm like, "This is not fun," but let's go. <laughs> uh, so this one, yeah, we we did the first loop. We got through the first stretch, and I think it was between set number two and three. All of a sudden, I'm like, okay, I've started sweating. This is not a good sign. And oh Mike and Luke are talking, and they're like, okay, let's set up. We're good to go. Let's go. And as soon as I would hear Luke or Mike say, pull, it was just like, oh, here it comes. And just fighting with everything I had. And then after the fourth stretch of loops or third stretch, I don't, don't even know. It was like, okay, where's the airsick bag? Which has never happened in an airplane in my life. Yeah. We so like we should it, mention it you, you are a moment pilot. of my life. I am a pilot. Like aviation, flying, boat rides, motion sickness has never been a thing. So to suddenly have this happen. And I think it was just with lack of sleep and exhaustion and just the stresses of trying to get a shot. Uh, it, it was such a strain on my body. Like I ended up being sick, I think twice before we landed. We landed. I'm like, okay, I'm good. And then it was two minutes. We Mike, I think you'd put the airplane away and I'm like off into the woods and driving home. I live on the, the west side of Winnipeg. It was it was an hour and a half drive home and I ended up having a pullover on the way home and I was going through chills and sweats and chills and sweats and oh. the sun is barely rising. I'm like, okay, it's 7 a.m. I still have an entire day in front of me and I got home and my wife looked at me. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I just, I, I need to go to bed. And I think I ended up sleeping till till probably 12.30 or 1 p.m. that day. It was it was something I'd never experienced. The the it, sheer force on my body was, was mind-boggling. My apologies. I'm very sorry that I had to do that to you. <laughs> it's but not your fault, Mike. But if you're going to be sick, I can't think of a better way to get there either. So, <laughs> <laughs> But we got the shot. That was my major concern. We did. I'm driving home shaking. Yeah. I'm like, I it. hope there is one that works. I hope there is one that works. Right. Well, that's that's amazing. That uh, that makes me appreciate you guys even more. What you what you did that morning. So thank you. You're welcome. You're 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 very welcome. 